to another episode of Metroid Prime the playthrough thank you for being here welcome to the captain's quarters this is your captain's serious secret speaking we uh we have a disturbance in Chozo ruins um if I remember correctly we're pretty much going to be taking care of the toxins that are in Chozo Ruins. So that way we can um, actually be in the water. And we're actually going to get that scan data now. Main source of toxins. Where are you? Ah, right there. So we're going to be actually heading that direction. Uh, and see if we can't take care of this toxin source. Yep, give me all those missiles, because I'm going to need them. I'm surprised it didn't hit me at all. Ah, uh, yes, we're back in this room. And if y'all remember correctly from the past episode, um, we couldn't get... We couldn't get through one of the hole patches because we needed the Powerball Bomb. But because we had got the Powerball Bomb, we now needed a couple more things. So once we got through here, oh, there we go. Uh, we didn't have like the missile or I can't remember what in here we needed. Oh, well, of course, I guess what I did, I went in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Well, this is going to be my first uh, pause of the episode. Okay, and we are back. Uh, this was the direction I needed to go. So it was obviously the giant tree that we needed to uh, take care of. Because, again, we did not have the Powerball bomb yet. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, gosh. So, I had just had family in town, and um, we had we had called my grandmother, which, bless her heart, like, she, she's, she's at a home right now, and bless her heart, she... My, my dad was trying to um, let her know what house that my dad was staying, um, or at least visiting, and she couldn't, for the life of her, like, remember who the namesake was, which I'm, I'm my dad's namesake, and uh, bless her heart, I just, I miss her much, but the second she saw my face, she remembered exactly who I was and all of that. So that was, it was kind of nice to hear. Did I not get the other runes? I thought for sure I got the other runes in here. Maybe not. All right, let's head down and try to get the other runes. So I know there's one right there. It's weird that I have to re-scan them. But, no matter. That won't take long. Because there's one right behind me. Alright, so there's one more remaining. I 
Leave a comment if you can spot the last rune that I have to scan before I can. Oh, did you catch it before me? Did you? There we go. Then that's the door we gotta go through. Those, those red ones, I normally won't shoot down, but those red ones hurt. Those, those red fern looking things, yeah, those, those actually hurt. This one I have to bomb. Go through this way. Missile! Oh, and like I said, these red ones, these, these toxic ones, these will actually tell you, because scanning is so good when you're playing it the first time through, because you want to make sure that, oh, is this, is this something that is actually going to hurt me or not if I step on it? Um, and this definitely says, yeah, this poisonous plant um, that retracts into the ground if threatened. So essentially, it's, it's telling you, shoot at it and it goes away. If you shoot at it, it won't hurt. And then we're gonna get to the room where uh, spoilers, this is this is a boss. Yeah, this this is a boss. Boss time. You know what would be a good idea? Let's scan it. Creature entry, flagra. The plant is a source of toxic water. It has been radically accelerated as a result. It requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain active. This exposure has made flagra's outer shell thick and durable. So what this tells me is the solar energy, those solar panels, um, needs to be taken out. Lower root system is unprotected and vulnerable, however, exploit this flaw when possible. So, those trenches that you'll, you'll see in a second. Um, there are trenches that the morph ball can go into. That's how I have to attack it. So, so in this case, this is what I have to do first. Let's take that out. And then goes down and then go down these trenches. Conveniently placed right in front of. Owie! Fire! Fire not good. <laughs> so then essentially after each time hitting it. I... Oh... Bugger. Alright, that'll l leave me alone for a while. So now I have to go to the other one. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! Nope! Oh, you are terrible. I'm gonna go this way, and boom. So 
now it's obviously three of them. So. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh, you were terrible. So Flagra can also turn the solar panels back if I don't constantly shoot at it. So that to me, I think is kind of the, you know, Wow, it'd be so easy if I just went around and took care of the solar panels. Well, Flagra will actually turn the solar solar panels back. Yeah, now it's all four. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Shoot, okay, 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 okay. Can I get over here? A flag rise. Excuse me. Go, 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 go. It's all a timing thing. It's all timing. Come on. Of course you're gonna plant that right there. And the last tunnel is right here. Goodbye, Flagra. That's some clean water. It's like, yay. Oh, check it out, a new power up. No, where's my, where are my energy tanks? They're like over here or something. Where are they? Well, I guess not. It's There were some HP power-ups I thought that were over here, but I guess not. And guess what? Time to get our suit back. This suit look, would look very familiar from uh, part one. Almost identical. Yeah, it's our various suit. Yes. Certain areas of heat are now accessible. Fantastic. Well, now we can see where, ooh. Where we can go from here. Looks like there's an elevator at the end of the hall, which is nice. So it looks like we're gonna go into a different world. Oh yeah, these gold ones replenishes a whole block's worth of energy. It's kind of awesome. 
they're like, yeah, you just took down a boss. Here's some HP. <laughs> These guys suck. Um, pulse bamboo. So I I can't even kill them. Not not at least with the um, the power gun that I have now. There may be a different weapon in the future that I could use. Maybe. Thank you, wasps. All right, and all of a sudden we're at an elevator with two other doors. Kind of crazy. So, this way goes somewhere, pretty much goes back to here, which I think is where the, which I honestly think is where that energy tank is. So I'm gonna go check this way out before we take the elevator. I'm definitely all for checking the area before Checking out a new world, you know what I mean? Ooh. <laughs> All right. So how do we open these doors? Black entry to the center of the room. Okay. Ah. Ah, so it's unlocking the mechanism. Cool. So I essentially have to hop the morph ball up to that third one, which shouldn't be terrible. Just like that. <laughs> I honestly can't believe I've gotten that the first try. The first time I saw that, I was very confused. I thought I had to jump and morph ball right at the right time. No, you, you have to use the morph ball bombs to do that. All right, we're gonna increase our missile capacity. And right through here should be an extra energy tank. Yeah. Awesome. A little bit beefier. Any way that you see an energy tank when playing this game, you want to get those. Missiles, eh, yes and no. I mean, the missiles are good for, like, the end boss, but at the same time, you want as much health as possible. I'm all for having a good defense. Well, and that pretty much heads back to where we were. So let's head to the new place. Sweet. Ooh. Look at this. I think we're in a new area. Are we? Or are we in a different portion of this place? Oh no. This is Magmore Caverns. And as you probably have guessed, a, a very big hot spot. This is a safe spot. All right. We'll save here quick. Lots of missiles, new creatures. I 
I can't really kill that thing, but it's, it's a little aggressive. That was a little aggressive, buddy. This barrier stands up to everything but concussive blasts. So is it missiles? Yep, that's why. Yep, it's missiles. Eh, whatever. I'm not even gonna bother with it. Here we are. Magmora Caverns. Hello, big fella. Yep, I shot its head off. Yes, I did. Poor thing. Oh, you shot my brother's head off. Yes, I did. I'm gonna shoot yours too if you don't cooperate. If you didn't cooperate. I would scan there and be like well there's no way for me to go no there's there's always a way for you to go you just got to figure out the best way to go forward which scanning is always your best option but this is not my first time playing through Ooh, these guys suck too oh this is exactly what they'll do they'll bring me back here and just be like Get out of here. I'm like, what the heck? No, get off me. Ugh. These guys. Okay. Nope. Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. No, leave me in. Oh my gosh, the range. The range. Oh, good grief. Alright, alright. No, I'm gonna go right past you, buddy. Like, just <laughs> leave me alone. Okay. Now that we're done with that. Ooh, interesting. So, two doors that I can go through. That one, it doesn't look like I can get to. You see how the ledge is there? The door's up there? I'm assuming it's this one. So we're gonna go up these doors. Or this, these steps to the door. Why does everything have to be toxic? Oh. So as to say, those guys take a bit more damage. Test this door first, see where this leads. These some of these panels are broken. So this probably needs a, a different exploding type of move there. Fire. Fire bad. In case y'all didn't know. <laughs> there. Go this way. Oh. Go, go, go. 
go. Oh yeah, this is fun. This is kind of cool, just going on a rail. Oh, and we're at another elevator. Where does this go? This goes back to Talon Overworld. Okay. And this takes me where exactly? Ah, somewhere with the spider ball. So I can't go that way. So we will take the elevator. That's fine by me. find here because this was the planet we originally landed on so this is just a different section of the world we were at yes I heard you missile expansion I heard you oh it's a big area okay Keep walking. Okay, a missile door. Oh, so if you guys remember from part one. This area we couldn't get to yet because this was a missile door. So now we're actually heading back towards where we were before. So maybe there's a door here that we can take. Wouldn't that be cool? I like that. So let's see. If I remember correctly, yes, it is to the right. I don't want to go back to Chozo Ruins yet. I want to head back to the ship. Where I can save and also have my energy and ammunition fully replenished. I'm going to try this door down here first. Let's head this way. Yep, this was a missile door. As well as I would need the morph, morph ball to go through. Perfect. Creature. These are flying pirates. Out in the air, but the heat signatures of jetpacks can be tracked with thermal imaging. Oh, you're running away, coward! Well then, what do we got here? There seems to be some type of container found on the Space Pirate Research Frigate. Material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic. Analyst indicates that this may be the Phazon compound the Space Pirates were using in their biological experiments. So Phazon is very potent in um, the Metroid, Metroid Prime series. So this is really bad stuff, guys. So we'll see a lot more about Phazon and what it does. Um later on in this series. And for the sake of time and everything else, I can't obviously go to those doors. I don't have the beam for it. It needs the ice beam. 
So, this door is a bust. Well, not a bust. We we have information. Um, we just have to try other doors. Let's see. What other door can we try? So, I guess I'll save since I'm here. <laughs> Once again, I'm the saveaholic of the family. Saveaholic. All right. That door goes that way. I don't think I can make it to that door. I'm gonna try it. Oof. I have one jump, I can't double jump. Ooh, can I make it to this door? <laughs> yes, I can. All right. Ooh, do not like y'all. Ah, it's gonna take me this way. Impact Crater. Yes. Pirate data. So this pirate data is a lot of um, background noise, a lot of um, pretty much the history of why the pirates are here and why there's this large facility. There is a facility here for the pirates, which we'll get to. Um, but we're going to start to see why they're here. Uh, log 10.3080. Field team reports are in on an aged structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon 4. Studies show this structure projects a containment field. This field bars access to a prime source of energy within a deep crater. Science team believes the field is powered by a number of strange Chozo artifacts. We have found some of these relics and studies on them have begun, as this field could hinder future energy production operations on Talon 4. We must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the Chozo artifacts, it will be done. So they're willing to pretty much trash the place if it means they, they can get their work done. Which, um... Rude. <laughs> Come on, load up. There we go. Okay. Ooh, music changed. This is a Chozo artifact. Collected, then scan the totems here for clues on the locations of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. So what the pirates don't know is these artifacts pretty much open a door to the center of the impact crater. So artifact acquired. It's the artifact of truth, the first of twelve. Collected, then scan the totems here for clues and locations of the remaining artifacts together. The artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. Pirate data. Chosen lore. Creatures, research artifacts. So essentially, to end the game, I have to get all twelve of these. Which are fun. It's, it's fun how they incorporate the clues to the maps, which I'll actually get to uh, next time uh, in the Captain's Quarters. We will um, move on to uh, seeing how these artifacts 
um, will come together in clues and where we actually have to go next, essentially, because I'm pretty sure a hint is coming of where we need to go next. Maybe the Magmore Caverns, perhaps? Stay tuned. We'll be doing a lot more of this. All right. Take care, y'all. Captain out.